will go and create a uh, provider class and this guy db provider class so let us create one and this is a simple class this is, it does not have any base class or something so what we'll do is that we'll say new class and i will say my db oh sorry my db com dot isec dot ta my db provider class okay and uh, this one does not have anything so super class will be object nothing to do and will create like this one so this class is basically a very simple basic class my db provider which is nothing but this class and inside this will define a constructor and this constructor will be like same the way this constructor is so what we are going to do is that we are just going to copy this one and put it inside my db provider here and uh, like this okay and then will declare some variables inside here so one of them is sqlite helper sql underscore helper semicolon and uh, let us import this class sqlite open helper sorry and uh, then here we'll say sql underscore helper equals to new my db helper okay my db helper now this one will do this now every time i want to do this the few things i will be passing here is the context and name but these ones I want to not interested and the version will be something I will be passing from up here so I don't want to do the this way now here we will declare the database version and that int db underscore version equals to one dot o What is the data type of this? Oh, it is an integer, so we'll have to just put one. And uh, just give me a second. This takes an integer data type, so that's okay. Now, what it means is that the provider class will call the constructor of a helper class and uh, send a request to create a database, and the name of the database will be passed here. Okay. So what we'll, we could do is that we could put here the name of the database. So db underscore name equals to some database name. I will call it expense db. Okay. And then db underscore name is what it will take care. So no need to pass it through this constructor. Here we'll put 
db underscore name. So now if you see this, uh, SQL helper and uh, my DB provider class is ready. I have defined SQLite open helper variable which I am going to use to create an object from that using this class and this takes a context and DB name and DB person is being passed here itself. Okay and there's a helper class. So once this helper class is done the next thing what you could do is that you can create a database. So SQL underscore helper. So let us do here. Create helper object. And then after that, what you could do is that create database using helper object. OK. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Create a helper, create a database using helper object. So SQL helper dot git writable database. And this one will return a SQLite database. But that I need to store somewhere. So what I am going to do is that SQLite database expense db I will call exp database like this and there is something wrong here like this okay and this one will return is create the database or get a reference to that database if not there then it will create if it is there then it will open and just give the reference to that database so that's pretty much it does so every time it will uh, so create a helper object, create a database using helper object. And uh, that is what it is doing. Now, once this is done, our job is pretty much simple. Now, what we have to do is that we have to just use this database and fire some SQL query. Now, to fire the SQL query, we'll write some generic create in certain delete statements. So why don't we write this? Uh, we'll just write some insert statement method insert statement method select statement select method delete statement method and uh, we'll do it like this search okay so we'll just mention like this such. Now what we're going to do is that we'll just check insert select and search. Now and once I put the method value for this, this code is ready to go. Now I have already some code for this purpose. Let me just check it out and uh, we'll take it from there. So let me have a quick look into one of my world of code and that is okay so Provider B Here is my DB provider at Java class. What I'm going to do is that just copy few methods here for insert, delete, and update. And uh, I will put it here. And 
then I'm going to delete this guy okay and copy this and paste it back okay now inside this the reference to this is that expense DV so the database name on this variable is expense DV okay now what we have done is that we have created the helper object we have created the database using helper object and then there are a lot of uh, records like insert records delete record update record and search records now in our expense item we could put a button like delete an expense uh, insert an expense update an expense and search an ex expense but since right now we are only interested in adding a expenses in that one so we'll just go with this one and you can go and override this one and change as you wish but right now we'll be focusing mostly on this one so what it does is that it doesn't do much it just uses the database and calls a method on that database called insert and the argument it takes is the table and what and other is cv what is content value content values is a special kind of a class which has been used uh, which has been provided in android to store a, like a key value pair so if there is a column if in a table there are three column column one column two and column three then you, you can store what value you want to insert into the table using like this column one value one column two value two column three value three and then this content value structure can be inserted into that table in one shot so basically this is nothing but a temporary data structure for storing the data you want to insert in a row in a table okay now if you want to see that how this can be done why don't here we are not going to write the exact sql query now who will be using this now the question is that who is going to call all of this this method who will call these methods these methods will be called by this guy so this guy has a responsibility to get a connection from the database helper class so this gets a connection from helper class and how it gets it by doing this first it creates a object of that helper and then ask that helper that give me a writable database what it means is that give me a open connection to that database and after that this guy will go and call this class these methods and fire all the SQL statement from here to here so basically what we have to do is that now we have to open our main class called expense item activity and here we have to connect to the database 